China knows it cannot take on Indian troops from Tibet. So it is getting help from the terror breeding hub, Pakistan. And the world must condemn Pakistan as much as it condemns China. As the ongoing border tussle between India and China keeps escalating, the responsible powers across the world are joining hands against China for its expansionism and violent behavior. But the dynamics of the subcontinent are now changing. China's all-weather ally, Pakistan, is now opening up its air bases to the Chinese People's Liberation Army Air Force. This comes at a time when China is facing an inherent disadvantage in China-occupied Tibet that borders the eastern Ladakh sector, the venue of the ongoing military standoff between India and China. A Chinese refueler aircraft landed in Skardu of Gilgit Baltistan last week, and now India is keeping a sharp eye on the air bases in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir too. Also, Chinese air activity has increased all around eastern Ladakh. This raises the possibility of China using air bases in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir too. China and Pakistan are actively collaborating with each other to put India in a precarious position. Beijing might be sitting at a higher altitude via V, the Indian Armed Forces, but the bigger issue is that the Chinese Air Force faces a huge disadvantage here. According to a former Indian Air Force Chief B.S. Tanoa, for them, the geography works against them, especially in the Tibet Autonomous Region. They have an inherent operational disadvantage due to altitude, very cold temperatures and presently, as we see, a lack of basic infrastructure to protect the aircraft on ground. The PLA Air Force has built several air bases in Tibet. But they are incapacitated due to their location in high altitudes that is around 4,000 feet above sea level. This makes it difficult for Chinese fighter jets, attack helicopters and transport aircraft to carry heavy payloads, weapons and logistics at full capacity. The Indian Air Force assets on the other hand find it easier to take off from the plains of Punjab and Haryana. This brings us to the issue of Pakistan. The country is already recognized as an Islamist terror-sponsoring nation, which is in the great list of the FATF. Its military sponsors cross-border terrorism and proxy wars against India and Afghanistan. India has been the biggest victim of Pakistan's jihadist terrorism with thousands of deaths across India. Pakistan aided attacks in the Indian parliament train blasts, the 2008 Mumbai terror attacks and several other attacks scar India's memory till today. Failure to win a conventional war with India has led the Pakistani establishment towards the policy of bleeding India through a thousand cuts. Kashmir has been kept on a boil by only Pakistan and civilians and armed personnel have been targeted by Pakistani terrorists for the past three decades. Pakistan has cheated the West and the democratic world too. It embezzles money and uses aid money to fund Kashmir-focused terror groups and also Taliban-affiliated groups like the Haqqani Network. Islamabad's internal issues are not very different from China. The country is turning towards greater Islamic extremism. Human rights violations and persecution of religious minorities dominate this country at this point. Hindu, Jain, Christian, Buddhist and Parsi women from virtually every religious minority are raped, abducted and converted by state-sponsored elements in Pakistan. The country has been systematically wiping off its minorities. Today, the global fury is directed at China, which has become a pariah. But what the world must also recognize is that Pakistan is openly working with the rogue nation which wants to dominate the Indo-Pacific. Pakistan does not follow the rules of international engagement, just like China. In the Kargil War II in 1999, it had sent in irregulars along the infantry troops who committed some of the most brutal war crimes till date. Today, it is ready to give up its sovereignty to China as long as India has another enemy in its neighborhood. Pakistan is drowning in Chinese debt and China is already building a naval base in Pakistan's Gwadar port. 
So while India expects a two front war from Pakistan and China it is becoming more and more like a one front war with China taking control over Pakistan for its belligerents China is being targeted by the world and now Islamabad must be made to pay for its misdeeds too